Once again, the so-called courts of the First World have ruled against the people of Venezuela. As you'll recall, previously the Venezuelan government had requested that $1.2 billion worth of gold that was being held by the Bank of England be returned to Venezuela so that they could sell it and use that money to go to the UN Development Program to purchase food, medicine, medical equipment, etc. to deal with the COVID-19 outbreak. But when they attempted to do so, the, the UK government decided that, that maybe the gold belongs to the illegitimate self-proclaimed president, Juan Guaido. Now this of course prompted the lawsuit where Venezuela was saying, well, he's not the legitimate president, he's a US puppet, he's meaningless, he, he, he's nothing, the gold belongs to the Venezuelan people not the U.S. controlled opposition. Well, now we finally have a ruling in that, clay, in that claim, and it says Juan Guaido is the legitimate president of Venezuela, so therefore the $1.2 billion of gold is now going to be handed over to that U.S. puppet, Juan Guaido. So, just, I mean, never, never mind the inhumanity of this, that the country is trying to deal with a COVID-19 outbreak along with astronomical sanctions against the country, some of which violate international law. Okay, let's get, get that part straight. So Venezuela has this means of buying necessary supplies for the outbreak, and then the UK blocks them and essentially hands over control of that gold to this weaselly-faced little puppet. That's where we're at. And he's going to spend that money on destabilization efforts against the legitimate Venezuelan government. So money towards people who are sick and need help, bad. Money towards U.S. imperialism and um, coups, good, according to the U.K. courts. Now, I think it's also very interesting that the court ruled that Maduro was not the legitimate president of Venezuela. Yet... All consular services go through the government that Maduro was the head of. Not through Juan Guaido. Even exchanges, travel, etc. all go through the existing Venezuelan government under Nicolas Maduro, but somehow he's not the legitimate president. So isn't the UK kind of contradicting itself in this situation? Well, the answer is... Yes, it is. It's completely contradicting itself. It cannot say that that the president that the president of Venezuela is illegitimate and then continually to do continue to do all business, all transactions, travel, uh, uh, embassy, consular services, etc., through that very president that they just said wasn't legitimate. So it's really funny. Oh, we, we want to do all you know, all the business, all the the international relations, but you don't get the gold because we decided the puppet get it. I mean, it's a complete ridiculous contradiction. In fact, that's the very point raised by Venezuela's lawyers who say this is the 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 argument that they're going to make when they appeal the decision. Because frankly, this is ridiculous. Now, normally that gold is kept in other countries. You know, countries usually have stockpiles of you know, something of value in other countries for, you know, dealing with, ex you know, guarantees of exchange. Oh, we're going to do this business that I pay you off, but if you don't, we're holding this in reserve just in case. Well, you're just not allowed to use that for sick people because that would go against U.S. imperialism. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, Comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.